A little girl in Minneapolis is recovering after being hit by a stray bullet while sleeping in her own bed. It happened in the 1600 block of Plymouth Avenue North. That's just a half mile away from where one person died and seven others were hurt in a gang shooting one night earlier. As Rachel Slavic reports, this shooting is the latest concern for police with the rise in gun violence in the area. We're throwing everything we've got at this problem. Neighbors tell us the violence and fear is at an all-time high in North Minneapolis. A mother who didn't want to go on camera says a group of men who didn't live in her building got into a fight last night playing a game of dice in the back alley. A stray bullet sailed through her daughter's bedroom wall, hitting her in the foot. The shooting happened on the same block where Jamar Clark was shot and killed by police last November. And just Wednesday, a fight between two gangs resulted in the death of a 20-year-old man. Seven others were also shot. Minneapolis police say they know who's responsible, but they haven't been arrested yet. It's the same number of individuals that are becoming more brazen and with more frequency out there doing their, their crimes. Recent crime stats show at least 107 people have been shot in the city this year. That's about twice as many compared to last year. Nearly 80% of those shootings happened in North Minneapolis. All they think about is their intended target. They don't think about what's downrange from them. Police are now going all hands on deck, bringing an additional two dozen patrols to the area this weekend in hopes incidents like this become less frequent. That's a lot of shooting and that won't be tolerated, not by the community, not by the police department. Minneapolis police have increased patrols over the last four weekends. The department said that in its first weekend of saturated enforcement, shootings decreased by almost 50%.